Hi everyone. Hello. This is Marshall and Dispenser, um, and we're here again to talk about the Dan tournament. Um, this weekend that we're planning to do is going to be a full-on full-contact tournament weekend. Um, what we envisage is it's going to have full pageantry, as much colour and splendid stuff as we can think of. Surcoats as well with your heraldry on it as well. 
uh, if you don't want to make a shield, then don't. Don't enter the sword and shield category. Yeah, you so don't have to enter every single category. No, you can turn up in your 15th century kit and say, I just want to do the long sword category. Then, then do that. No one's forcing you to enter all three, but if you do enter uh, certain categories, then you have to fulfill certain requirements. Yeah. Which is what this video is about. And what's going to be classed as a hit and what isn't. Yeah. As, as per the title, what's classed as a hit. So we will, at the end of this video, answer your questions, but hopefully by the time you get to the end of the video, we should have covered them. But uh, like you said, we want to make sure you know that we've read your questions and we're going to answer them for you. Yeah. So that, that should be... Yeah. So we, shall we do... Shall we get a uh, minimum kit? Yeah. And minimum then uh, get going. Cheers. Everybody. Hi. Do problems with the game. I have worn my boots because it's slippery day. <laughs> As it. Right, so uh, what we're going to do is run through, which we've done on the previous video, so you want to watch that as well. This is the minimum kit you should be wearing when you're training. Okay, uh, to go on this, you check your fingers down, check your head. We're going to cover the target areas in this video and what's class is a hit and what isn't. That's probably one of the hardest things you're going to have to get your head around as well. What's class as a hit? What do you mean I've been hit out of time? We'll explain all that. These are rules you need to know. But, Lord Dispenser is just going to reiterate where the target areas are. And they are no different to a normal reenactment fight. So I'll be the dummy. You want to, you know, the hell <laughs> fit. <laughs> right. Like Lord Marshall said, they're no different to any show you do or uh, any battlefield fight um, apart from the headshot. So I'll just quickly run through the target areas. Head, again, straight down. Or 45. Nothing below the eye line. Um, the next target area is upper arm. Into the upper arm. All sides. Next target area, upper leg. In a downward action, all sides. Other target area is down into the thigh. Thigh? Not thigh, shin. Lower leg. Calf. Calf, that's the word. That 
is not a hit um, because that is just basically you, you blocking with your sword. Uh, if it's this hand, your off hands, because you can like grab it or block it or whatever, that is a hit. You've just allowed your hand to be hit. Um, so so your sword hand, hand not a hit, your off hand a hit. Yeah, so if you get hit accidentally on this on your weapon hand, that's fine. Bad blocking on your behalf. But if you try and take those in for a headshot and my arms are in, I'm trying to no, I can't put my hand in the way. You cannot deliberately put your hand in the way. If you want to risk it with this, and you come to a headshot, that's up to you. I wouldn't recommend it. But you cannot put your hand in the way to try and stop getting hit. Same as your feet, you can't suddenly block with your foot. If you do it for the leg, you just kick it out of the way so you can. I see it done. It's crazy. Hmm. So, no. If you do anything stupid like that, you'll lose a point because you haven't bothered defending yourself properly. Yeah. So should we do a quick review of attack and response? Right. And yeah. then we'll go into the what classes of hit cover. Right. So the start is you're making every effort. It's sort of in a nutshell it's your good Michael, but we even we don't kind of like that term. But you're making every effort to block whatever I throw at you. So if I come in for a shot, they would do everything you can to block that, and then I have to do everything I can to stop his attack. He's going straight back, and that's it. As soon as I've done that block, I can start to come down, and as soon as that happens, I've got to think of defence. And if I don't, I'm going to get hit. So if I change hands, I'm going to back to you. So even at slow speed, yes, it looks like you're my goal. But we're not thinking that way, we're thinking, Got to block it, and I'm going to try and hit it. So you start off slowly, if you want to do a warm up, possibly if you're actually going to hit it, block that, throw it in, you don't know where I'm going, and then you can come over, there's a hit. That's it. And you'll be surprised, even slowly, how fast you'll build up. Come in, hit on the arm. He misses block, 
is a clean hit. And that's it. What's not a clean hit is if the weapons, even just slightly because you're trying to faint, touch. If that slight noise there, I've messed up my attack. He's managed to block it. Even if I power through that and hit him, there's been that T. That's it, my attack's over. I've got to now switch to defense. So, a, not a clean hit is probably easier to describe than what's a clean hit. Clean hit is just something that goes straight in with no noise and you just hit that place. Clean hit. Any other sound, a, that's it, your attack's over. So you cannot do the following. If I was to block that shoulder and Lord Spencer blocked it, I cannot slide down onto the leg. So if I come in for that shoulder and then slide down, not clean it, because he's blocked it. I could do that and he whips that sword around so fast it in the air. That's a clean hit, but if I do this, from there, if I go and hit at the same time, just do that little flip, my hit is out of time, because I've done my attack, he's done the right thing and blocked it, and I've made no effort whatsoever to block that, and I've run out. I've left myself wide open. It won't be fast as a hit, I'd be fast as striking out of time. And for a while on the Saturday morning, you will hear this a lot because whilst you get your head around the fact that I don't get it, you have to literally take it in turns to strike each other. As soon as you play that attack, take the fence and block it. Don't. We hit at the same time, but it was my goal. I should have defended myself. That would be my point. Yeah. The other thing you can't do is leave yourself open to get hit in. And that's a classic, and we've all found this with Green Amber. Someone goes through your leg, and you just don't want to defend yourself. So it's my attack, it's my turn. I've blocked something from Dave, I see he's coming this side. I've blocked that, I go in for the leg, and he completely blocked it. It was my turn. He had to defend himself. It doesn't matter what speed you do with that. So if he does that, it was my go. He should have defended his aim. So again, they struck out of time. It was my go. Yeah. Like me sliding down off his sword into his leg. I struck out of time. It was his go. Yeah. The well, biggest problem you can get is trick shots. Yeah. <laughs> what you've got to think is your um, your defence is on you on its way to be your attack. So you defend on your way to the attack. So if Rich comes in for the shoulder, my defense is part of my attack. So I'm, I'm guarding my body as I attack. You could have done that from the thighs, right? Okay. Yeah. It's all part of your move, your attack. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you can do trick shots because you try and hit the body, and that's where you're going to get caught out the most. So one of my favorites, will be to sweep down for the leg, faint, come up, and hit the head. Everybody's done that. So if I do that in slow time, and I mess, and I do it properly, it will look like this. Still my attack, he's messed up the block, I've got the hit. Now I mess up the trick shot. So we come around like that, there's a slight, that's it, doesn't matter now. I've now got to quickly switch the defense, but I ain't gonna get there in time. And he's hitting the arm. So if we do that a little bit faster, so I'm, my, I'm trying to do my faint. And down here, it only has to be that slight tint. That's it. I've got to then focus on defending myself. I know you can argue, or you can power through that. Oh, shut up. So you defend yourself. You can power through that. But it doesn't matter. If there's that. That's it. It's game over for me. I've got to defend myself. Another classic I like, I know you like, is um, the thrust, classic thrust. You do that, then you go to block it, you just that slight force, and you're in. And it's not all bad for me that, it's quite a nice little trick shot. But if I mess that up, that's it. I, I can come back up and try and hit him, but I've lost it, and from there you just swap the leg. So it's all about getting that nice clean, Hit it. So if I do it now, say I've messed up, 
He's driven it into his thigh. Doesn't matter. He's dropped it. I'm going to block myself. I'm trying to back. And that's the hardest one, is, is the striking out of time when it's not your turn to attack. It's like taking the initiative, isn't it? As soon yeah. as the sword's hit, you've taken the initiative. So it's your go. It's a bit like um, blaming Mick on fencing. When you're like that, if you, you're trying to avoid each other's play, as soon as you, that's it, you can, it's that mentality. I'm trying to attack Dave with a faint shot, that's fine, if I mess it up, ah, fuck it. And that's it. So you cannot slide off a weapon and try and get there. You cannot attack at the same time. This gets rid of that double hit, so I'll attack in there. Up. The judges will know whose go it was. Because if we do a little bit of attack and swat, then I'm going to go and attack there again. So you're doing that. Was my go, which is boxed it. So we do it again. Was my go, should have blocked that arm. So it gets rid of the double attack. And we'll talk, we'll do a video on the fight itself and what's expected of the fight. Um, and we can mention it now. It will work out, someone will attack the other party. It will work out, Lord Dispenser will start the fight and you cannot attack or score on your first attack. So you throw it away. I cannot score on my first attack, so I just throw it away. And then when the fight is possible, and you can move around, you've got to stay But it wasn't my turn. <laughs> so Dave struck the ground, caught me in the head with a little dancing thruster, and that'd be it. That'd be his hit. So it's easily done. And you shouldn't be pausing mid-fight either. Once you've thrown your first shot away, and he's thrown his first shot away, you can't just suddenly stop. You can do that. Yeah. We're not yeah. doing this to keep that momentum going. So there'll be no tapping like that. It's got to be decent time. Was that a hit or not? I would say no. I would say yeah. Because my block got the same thing as your hit. Yeah. See, that's where the honesty comes in. I didn't think so. But Marshall says, no, we hit the helm first before I got the block Before in. he got the block in. So that would be my point. Yeah. And you have to. We're all theoretically nice. There's no money price out of this. It's just sort of praise and accolade and a hefty slap on the back. Yeah. So it's just for your own honour. And being nice, that's what we really want. So that hit could cost me the fight. Doesn't matter. The judges might work that out, and the judges might go, no, 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 you blocked that. Split second before his sword hit your head. You can argue the point, but the judges, there are probably be two judges every fight anyway. Yeah, the judges were as final. Yeah. So that was a perfect example of where it's quite close, and you have to use. You know, a little bit of honour. I thought, yeah, I got there, but I felt the hit on my head just to get my sword up there faster. It's alright. I'll get him next time. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other thing you can do with the single sword is change hands. So, if your arm gets tired, you can always change the hands mid fight. I wouldn't do it mid fight, I'd do it in between points. So, if we're fighting like this, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it, I mean, you can get the point here, but if you keep fighting, if you don't try and change the hand, you're going to fight to do it while you're not fighting, you know, or you're going to be defending yourself, or wait to the point, because you're going to do this as fast as you can. I'm going to change that. <laughs> Like that, 
and we're really seeing is try and break the pattern, which we'll manage to do. I'll come up there, he blocks, and then straight into the gap. I like that one. <laughs> but I might cut that out when people study it. You've seen all your moves with you. I think that's, that's, that's pretty much that. That's it. it. So, just to recap, your target areas, flashy parts of the body, your defensive, the front of your arm and the angle, softy, softy thrust there, avoid the feet, the forward hand doesn't count, that hand will count. And what doesn't count as a hit is out of time, so it's double striking, doesn't count. Sliding down off the weapon and uh, just not bother to defend yourself. That will be the same with the shield, as you should mention. Yeah. So, with the sword and the shield, uh, if we were like this, fire the shield there and Dave hit the shield and then slid down off the shield with my leg, doesn't count. Yeah, the shield counts as if you defend it. Yeah. So, and the shield we're taking a little liberty with. <laughs> So hopefully that's it. Like I say, we'll, we'll do a Q and A in a minute as well, and uh, yeah, take it from there.